Have you ever wondered which degree would give you the highest starting salary? Well, you don't have to wonder because in today's video, we finally have the data. I'm gonna give you the highest paying degrees for a starting salary for the 2020 graduating class. Let's go. Hi everybody, I'm Ben White with Ben Talks Talent. I've got 12 years experience in interviewing, hiring, and recruiting, and I'm passionate about using my experience to help you become the best candidate possible and land your next job. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something really neat. We're gonna be looking back at the year 2020, the newest data available, and we're gonna be looking at which degrees, on average, give their graduates the highest starting salary. But before we get into that topic, do me a favor, if you are new here, take three seconds, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell. That way you never miss one of my free videos. Thank you in advance, it helps me a ton, and if you are not new, welcome back. Now let's get into the video. Now, first things first, I wanna start with the good news. The good news is that salaries are up. Despite the pandemic, despite everything that 2020 went through, people who graduated in 2020 were actually 2.5% uh, higher in terms of starting average salary. With 55,250, they were 2.5% higher than the year 2019, which had an average starting salary of $53,889. They're even further up on 2018, which had an average salary of $50,944. Now this is for all US degrees, four-year college degrees. So they're up 8.5% for around 50,000 all the way up to 55,000. So generally speaking, very good news. Now, if you came here for the degrees, you're probably thinking, okay, enough, Ben. I don't care about the average salary. I want to know which degree will make me the most money. Now, I will say two things. This list is subject to change, right? If you were 17 and you were using this um, to decide what degree you want to get, Purely based on starting salary, these numbers might be different four to five years from now. Or maybe you're counseling someone, maybe you have a child and you're like, okay, you wanna make a lot of money, here are the degrees you should pursue. So this list, while based on my information, my knowledge of the market, a lot of this will be pretty consistent. It might switch a little bit four to five years from now. Keep that in mind. The second thing I want you to keep in mind is at the end of the day, you should also pursue passion. Don't just look at this and be like, all right, this is number one, that's the degree I am going to pursue. Um, you should be passionate about what you do because you will excel at it, you will, you will rise through the ranks and you will make more money that way. If you are more passionate about the degree number three than degree number one, um, I would go for degree number three, you'll have a more fulfilling career. With that being said, let's get to the degrees. Now in 10th place is chemical engineering. Um, 2020 graduates, on average, their starting salary is $72,713, which is a huge number. So that's number 10th on the list. Coming in at number nine is applied mathematics. That sounds very interesting. Um, and the salary there is $73,558. So if you graduated in 2020 with a degree in applied mathematics, your average starting salary would be over $73,000. Coming in at eighth place is statistics with a salary of $75,719. That statistics degree definitely plays off, uh, definitely pays off. I can't imagine getting a degree in statistics. Um, it was a very enjoyable, but very difficult class. So having an entire four year curriculum centered around that, um, in my opinion, they are earning every cent of that starting salary computer and information science. With a starting salary of $78,603 on average, people who graduate with this degree are setting themselves up for success for sure. And it is not the last time you will see a computer science, computer engineering entrance into this list. Now for the first time, we are cracking the 80K mark. Um, coming in at fifth on this list is operations research with $80,166 as an average starting salary. This is the first time we have been in the 80s um, in this list. Now the next entrance on this list is electrical, electronics, and communications engineering. Uh, this has an average starting salary for 2020 graduates of $80,819. Now this next one is no surprise to me because I deal in this field, I recruit in this field, I find my clients, people in this field. So the next three were no surprise to me. Um, and this one is computer science. And this has a big gap. Uh, one of the biggest jumps in starting salaries from the one that precedes it to this one. Um, computer science has a starting salary of $85,766. So 5,000 up from electrical, electronics, and communications engineering, it represents a pretty sizable gap. 
Next, very similar to computer science is computer engineering. So if you're wondering what makes me more money, computer science or computer engineering, the answer is computer engineering, at least in 2020. This comes in with a starting salary of $85,996, so only about a $200 delta, but that is good enough for third place. In second place, we have computer programming, $86,098. So right around this computer science, computer engineering, computer programming, they make up second, third, and fourth place respectively on this list, and they will all get you to that 85, 86K starting salary on average mark. Now it is time for the upset. So I expected, before I looked at this list, I was like, it's gonna be something computer related. It's gonna be computer science, computer engineering. So I wasn't surprised to see them, um, you know, second, third, fourth place, but I was surprised to see petroleum engineering at the very top at $87,989. Petroleum engineering reigns supreme for the year 2020. Of all the degrees, this has the highest average starting salary and narrowly edges out three different computer science, computer engineering related degrees. Congratulations to everybody in 2020 who got a petroleum engineering degree. So there you go. Again, a quick reminder, uh, make sure to chase something you're passionate about, but this is all relevant information. If you're teeter-tottering back between operations research and computer science or computer engineering and salary is a tiebreaker, there you go, you have your information. Good luck in your next interview. You got this.